After being found guilty of persistent fraud in his business practices, former President Donald Trump faced a Monday deadline to post a $454 million bond to a New York state court. Trump announced Friday via his Truth Social platform that he had the cash and repeated arguments he previously made in Palm Beach, Florida against the civil fraud case. This was a rigged trial by a crooked judge and a crooked attorney general but they'd like to take the cash away so I can't use it on the campaign. The question of whether the witch hunt narrative could help Trump politically was posed to Democratic Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez interviewed Sunday on CNN's State of the Union. Has there ever been a president, Republican or Democrat, that has been subject to this level of criminal charges, indictments, and investigations. This is not about party. This is not about politics. This is about corruption and criminality. Appearing on NBC's Meet the Press, the former chair of the Republican National Committee, Ronna McDaniel, commented on reports about a new joint fundraising committee between the RNC and the Trump campaign, and whether it's appropriate for Trump to ask donors to pay for his legal bills. If they feel strongly to support his legal bills, then they have every right to do so. And I think he's being very open that they're helping with his legal bill. Also in the race for a second term in the White House, U.S. President Joe Biden held a virtual rally Saturday, joined by his Democratic predecessor, Barack Obama, and House Speaker Emerita Nancy Pelosi. Biden focused on the topic of affordable health care. This election is about two different visions of America. As basic as that. My vision, our vision about the future, where folks have the freedom and security of affordable health care, low prescription drug costs, and just a little more breathing room, as my dad would say. Biden reassured voters he would preserve the Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare, and criticized Trump for vowing to dismantle it, even as around 20 million people have signed up for it this year alone. Veronica Valderas Iglesias, VOA News, Washington.